Henry, I'm so glad to see you. How about now? Fancy a walk to the town? That sounds wonderful. Everyone says the Broken Wheel Tavern is the fun place to be in the evening. I want you to take me there. Have you ever been to a tavern? Me and my father used to stop at the tavern in the glade when he was taking the flower into town, but he never wanted to take me inside. What do you think, Hal? Shall we go? Hey, lad! Don't you want a new wager on the rat age tourney? And just where might that be? Just above the upper gate, a little before you reach Ratai. Well, I don't see why not. But you'll have to try some ale while you're there. I will. I promise. Let's be going, then. God be with you, Henry. Happens a lot, do you? Sometimes. If I want a proper meal, I have to. You wouldn't want to eat the stuff I cook. <laughs> That's true. I haven't forgotten that bet you made back in Scallops that time. Don't talk about those oat cakes. Fritz's belly heaves at the very mention, even now. And that's where you go to woo wenches, is it? Well, naturally. The taverns and baths are where the best ones gather. You lout. No need to take it the wrong way. I'm not taking it any way at all. It's all right. I'm only joking. I don't go picking up women in taverns. I prefer a different sort. What sort might that be? All mouth and green eyes. You're such a... <laughs> Come on then. Something. Yes, definitely. Uh, <coughs> service. <laughs> oh, a pair of lovebirds. <laughs> what would you like to order? Mm. Is, it, uh, is it right? It's excellent. This ale is no better in the province. Mm. You know what? <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, but, but really? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on, be brave. No, I've never... Hand on my hip. I, I don't even know how. And off we go. But, but really, <laughs> I, I don't know how. <laughs> You're doing just fine. All right. No, it's... All right. It's fine. <laughs> 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 Not so bad. <laughs> you wore me out. And you said you couldn't dance. How about a dance with a real man? <laughs> How about you leave me alone and bother someone else? Oh, come on. It's a crime to waste a body like that on a scrawny boy like him. You got tits like a cow in calf. Ah, that's it. I like a woman to fight before I fuck her. <laughs> You'll pay for that, boy. Come here! Quinn. Watch out! Oh. I see an enemy! Now, now!
my hero. Does it hurt? Uh, you should worry about the other fellow. I'm fine. Ow! Of course you are. That's why you wince every time I touch you. You saw him off, though. He wasn't feeling so playful after you'd finished with him. Particles. Baby. So, you'll probably be fine. But try to give your hands some rest. Don't go lifting anything too heavy. Thank you. Can I take you home? You never give up. Are you sure you don't need a bit more rest? I can find my own way home. I'll manage those few extra steps. Come on then, hero. I'll give you this. Nights out with you might be painful, but they're never boring. I do my best. <laughs> well, you should go in before Peshek starts fretting. <laughs> Well, you're a son. How about now? That sounds wonderful. I want you to take... It sounds good. If we have to, we have to. But don't forget you've promised... How about now? I want... Proper meal, I have to. You wouldn't want to eat the stuff I cook. <laughs> Don't talk about those oat cakes. Fritz's belly heaves at the very mention, even now. And that's where you go to woo wenches, is it? Oh, naturally. 
taverns and baths are where the best ones gather. You lout. There's no need to take it the wrong way. I'm not taking it any way at all. It's all right. I'm only joking. I don't go picking up women in taverns. I prefer a different sort. What sort might that be? All mouth and green eyes. You're such a... <laughs> Come on, then. So, but uh, try to... You could just walk off with my prize? Ah! 
Henry, I'm so... How about now? That sounds... I... Sometimes. If I want a proper meal, I have to. You wouldn't want to eat the stuff I cook. <laughs> That's true. I haven't forgotten that bet you made back in Scallops that time. Don't talk about those oat cakes. Fritz's belly heaves at the very mention, even now. Yeah, naturally. The taverns and baths are where the best ones gather. You lout. There's no need to take it the wrong way. It's all right. I'm only joking. I don't go picking up women in taverns. I prefer a different sort. All mouth and green eyes. <laughs> Come on, then. So... I think you could just walk off with...
Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. How are you, Henry? Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. off now. Need a hand with anything around here? I certainly do. After what happened, I don't know where to begin. Throw out everything that's burnt, hire new stable boys. But why bother? There's just no point anymore. Especially since no one will buy from me. Our best customer was Sir Divish of Talmberg. He paid handsomely for our horses. But now my husband is... Now he's been murdered. His lordship has stopped buying. Although we still breed excellent steeds. Then why would he stop buying from you? I don't know, really. But maybe you could find out? Take our dabbled grey and show him to his lordship. He's a fine steed. A bit of a devil, but fast as the wind. That ought to convince Sir Divish. Why me? Why not go yourself or send a stable boy? I need all my stable boys here, and besides, you've got his lordship's ear, so I'm sure I can trust you. But how? Do you want to race? Race? I can't go running around like a March Hare just to win some custom. I've got my dignity. No, no, not you. A horse race. The winner will determine who Sir Divish buys from. Ah, I see. And I was afraid I'd have to try and outrun people half my age with these old aching knees of mine. I'm afraid I can't do that just now. Oh, so be it. It didn't hurt to try. Well, maybe just a little. But if you ever are able to, I'd be in your debt. About your problem with the horses, maybe I could... 
You'll go and see Sir Divish? You can take the dappled grey. I'm afraid I can't do that just... Oh. God bless. Good luck then. About your problem with... You'll go and see Sir Divish? All right. I'll go and ask Sir Divish. Maybe I can find out what's going on. That would be very kind of you, lad. Please send him my respectful greetings. God bless.
Yeah. This one is from Neuhoff. Take good care of him for me. The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? I brought you the crown from the Master Engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So, what's next? I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Let's just say that when I got to the merchant, my task had only just begun. But you were able to handle it. Thank you so much, Henry. Good luck, then. God bless you. What troubles you? My lord, I bring greetings from Smil's widow, Zora, mistress of the Neuhof stud farm. Mm, Zora. The poor woman, to lose her husband in such a terrible way. How can I help her? She sends her respects and would like to ask, if you don't mind, why you stop buying horses from her. I take my horses from Uzitz now. It's no reflection on Zora or her people. But it was clear to me after the tragedy at Neuhof that the stud farm would never recover. I'm not inclined to buy my steeds from a stud farm run by a woman. You can understand that, can't you? Being a stable master is a man's work. Her horses! They're beautiful, powerful animals, my lord. Impeccable hooves, strong teeth, clean ears. You certainly won't get any better from Ujits. You do seem to know a great deal about horses. If what you say is true, then I have an idea. We'll hold a horse race, and whoever's horse fares better, that's who we'll buy from. I hope you will carry the Neuhof colors. It looks that way. I've already bought the horse. Splendid. Tell my stable master about my decision. Meanwhile, I'll send word to the riders from the other stables around. Let's make a proper show of it. Good luck to you. God's blessings. What can I do for you? Sir Divish has sent me about the race. Race? Yes. 
I'm to tell you he wants to arrange a horse race. He will send word himself to the other stables and riders in the area. Hmm, it's true no one's raced the Talmberg track for ages. And the folk around here could use a bit of excitement. But what's your part in this? Actually, d Mistress Zora sent me. She wants his lordship to start buying her horses again. Zora? She's from the Neuhof stud, ain't she? Yes. I hope with all my heart you win. After what's happened to Zora, she deserves some luck. Do you know the rules of the race? I don't. We'll tell you before the start of the race where the poles are and what order you have to reach them in. There's no set course. You can take any route you want. Knowing the lie of the land is very important. You must take a ribbon from each pole and once you have them all, you can ride back. If you're the first one here, then you win. Got it? I understand. All right, but a race like that will take some time to arrange. Bring the dappled grey tomorrow to the gate of the outer bailey at noon. The start will be there. All right, thanks. Good luck then. Yeah. Yeah.
Good day to you. What do you need? What's happened here? Things are bad. Very bad. First we get attacked by them brigands, barely come out of that alive, and now the plague. Plague, you say? Indeed so. Something's up with the village. Even the livestock are dying. It's a gruesome sight. I heard the bandits didn't get very far here, though. Luckily, young Straw saw them still over by the cross and woke the whole village. We even captured one. He's tied up now at Melikar's place. But then the disease came. Who attacked you? I don't know. Some bandits. Ever since Scarlet's was raised, they've been marauding the whole province. Did you put up a fight? We most certainly did. Once Melikar heard young Straw shouting to the hills, he handed everyone a pitchfork or a flail, and we ambushed the bastards. Good on you. How did it turn out? We gave them what for until they turned tail and ran. But they cut up young Straw something awful. He didn't live to see morning. Who are Melikar and Straw? That's right, you're not from around here, are you? Melikar's the one looking after things round here now. Before that, it was down to Smil from the Neuhof stud. But they killed him that time they raided the place. And young Straw is the son of Andrew, a local woodcutter. Or was, I should say. The bandits saw to that. His old man isn't taking it well. Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables, and look across the road, Melikar's is the house on the left. I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house on the right. Tell me more about this plague. It sounds terrible. Worse than you can imagine. The whole stud, livestock, sheep, chickens, all dead or dying. No doubt the people will be next. Melikar's old woman's taken to her bed and it doesn't look good. Straw's wife and brother, more and more. I'm sorry to hear it. I'm looking for Matthias. He works as a stable hand at the stud farm. Matthias? The brigands got him, poor lad. He's lying wounded at the stud. Thanks. That'll be all for now. What happened here? Horror of horrors, Master. We were attacked by some bandits, and then the plague broke out. Jesus Christ. That's right. The Almighty has sent this punishment on us. These bandits, who were they? Some thieving rabble. What do I know? Maybe those damned humans. But they spoke Czech. Ask the captive at the Malikars. How did you manage to fight them off? Well, we were lucky. Young Straw saw the gang a little way out of the village and ran to warn old Melikar. If it wasn't for that, none of us would be here. It looks like you fended them off, though. I can't see any burned houses. They had no time for that. But they've left us with fresh graves. Young Straw himself got cut up something terrible. And a few others. We've a number of wounded. And now the plague to crown it all. Christ preserve us. Melikar, Straw. Those names are new to me. They're locals. Melikar's been in charge here since old vassal Smil from Neuhof passed away. May God grant him eternal peace. And Straw, 
That's the local woodsman. Poor fellow. The bandits killed his son, and his wife has the disease. Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's is the house on the left. I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house on the right. And the disease? Tell me something about it. I don't want to tempt fate by talking about it. it makes me shudder to think of it. There's not much to tell anyway. It hit us just after that rabble left. First the horses died, then livestock, and now it's people. Like Melikar's wife. Poor thing. Thank you. That's all. Good luck then. Sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? He took me into his garrison. Hal the blacksmith's boy in the service of his lordship. Who'd have ever thought it? My luck hasn't been so good. At least you haven't ended up begging like half the Scalit's folk in Ratai. And I'd be grateful if it weren't for this broken arm and the damned plague. Jesus, Hal. Feels like I bring my bad luck with me. It'll get better. Certainly can't get much worse. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk is saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Oh, damn! Are you alright? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damned bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Aye, old Melikar let him have it over the head with a flail. And now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening a sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. I understand Old Straw wants revenge, but first I have to question that bandit. What happens after is no skin off my nose. Good luck then. I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. Why, Old Melikar, let him have it. Why's that? That fucker. I can tell you what he'll do with him. He'll hand him over to Sir Radzig's envoy. Me. I doubt Malachar will let him go willingly. The folk here are baying for blood. Lives have been lost. First the raid and now this plague. God knows what they'll do. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village. 
and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. About this sickness. When did this plague start? The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. What are the signs that someone's getting sick? Well, I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba, although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. What are the signs that someone... Well, I don't leave the house much. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba, although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Who's ill now? I don't know. What well, with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Can I ask you a bit about Merhoyed? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Can you tell me something about Old Straw? He's a woodcutter, tough as they come, and a hothead. He's been out of his mind since his boy died. It's normal to grieve, though. Depends how you look at it. Folk are afraid he'll snap or drink himself to death. What's worse, his wife caught the sickness, and he's not taking care of her. Where can I find this straw? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Straw lives in the right-hand one. What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge here, but he was killed in Neuhof. I oh, know. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they picked Malachar. Thank God you had someone here who could take the reins. Aye. What's Malachar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge here, but he was killed in Neuhof. I oh, know. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they picked... Since when do subjects govern a village in place of the Lord? What can we do? If it weren't for Malachar, those bandits would have torched the place to the ground. The villagers won't follow anyone else. Where does Malachar live? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Malachar lives in the left-hand one. 